Hey guys, this is Coach KP back here by popular demand. I wasn't gonna upload the part one video. I actually, when I created it, I, it was just going to be me seeing if this is going to even get traction. Um, my channel is obviously obviously a personal development channel. So hope you guys get to stick around and check out these other videos as you are watching this. But you know, um, hey, if I'm making mistakes here, it's because I'm not I'm not used to making unboxing videos. So having said that, as you can see on the screen, what I'm gonna do today or now on this video is I'm gonna test out six things as you guys have asked me to do. Cinebench R20 back to back. Somebody wanted it, wanted me to do it two or three times. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Uh, I've never done that before. DPC latency test. Haven't run that before in this laptop. Uh, I will repeat the user benchmark test because somebody pointed out that I was actually, when I did, did it the first time, it wasn't um, accurate because the graphics drivers weren't installed correctly. So great call there. Thank you for that. And I will show you the battery. Um, obviously, I haven't had this laptop for that long to talk about the battery strength um, it does seem to hold battery pretty decently I think seven eight hours is what I have seen unplugged but I can't say for sure right now so I will sell but I will show you the Dell power manager settings that has helped me dissipate some of the heat issues that I was talking about in my first video uh, and I will repeat the sound test because what happened was um, YouTube uh, made a copyright claim because of a segment of what I what I was using um, was apparently copyrighted music even though the um, the uh, YouTube video clearly said zero copyright no copyright restrictions and you know I use that and then they're now trying to ding me so I'm not going to go into that so I'm going to do my own sound test between my older laptop and uh, older laptop the XPS 15 9560 which I still have, and the um, XPS 17 9700, okay? So, and ultimately I will speak about keyboard, trackpad, backlighting, um, etc. Okay, that, that would be the sixth, sixth thing that I'll talk about, as you can see on the screen. And, uh, you know, one thing I was telling, on, telling people on my other video is the aspect ratio of this laptop is 1610. So there is a portion of the screen that you will not see on this. That's because um, the software that I'm using, Snagit 13, does not go past a certain resolution. So I cannot capture the entire screen, even if I wanted to at, at this point, okay? And I cannot record it um, in 4K um, as, as uh, the screen resolution is 1610. So let's go here, Cinebench, without further ado, okay? So let's... See Cinebench R20 test. Let me see this test. All right, let's go. And we'll get the Windows ver Windows 10 version. All right, it's downloading. Check downloads real quick. All right, so it's going to take a little bit. Um, actually, it's happening really quickly. And then the next thing I was going to do on my list was the DPC latency test. DPC latency. I won't run them to, you know, um, together for obvious reasons, but I just want to be able to download this now. Um, all right. It says Windows 8 on this. I'll try it. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to find. So, all right, that one got done, downloaded, and then the Cinebench is now downloaded. So let me run Cinebench right now. Launch when ready. So it's happening pretty fast. I uh, probably won't skip it. Hmm. So where did it go? Okay. All right. Uh, blah blah blah. I won't read that. All right. So I guess 
Cinema 4D. All right, so how do I start? Okay, so as you can see, the specs here, your score, identical system. Click the run button. Click on the run button. Okay. Yeah, I, it was grayed out, so I didn't see it, but now I, I just did. It's preparing project, performing render test. So I won't touch the laptop right now. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm actually curious. I've never done this before. It renders pretty smoothly. I'm actually really tempted to see if it's using the the NVIDIA GPU. Maybe I'll pull it up for a second. Leave it side by side here. All right, so the fan is kicking in. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound, but the fan's kicking in. And I will talk to you about the setting that I have the fans on during the battery section of this video. So this is the first pass. So um, I can talk to you about some of the other things on this laptop about the keyboard spacing. Actually, I was going to do that towards the end, but you know, since since this is loading, I might as well talk about that. Compared to my laptop, the XPS 15 9560, the XPS 17 9700 is softer. That's the bad news because I really liked how tactile um, the previous keyboard was. Um, on on the um, other model that I just talked about, but on on this model, the key actually sits maybe a smidge lower, and it's softer. So it's not as tactile as the previous um, previous laptop. Okay, I think this is done. So it's not as tactile, but I still like it. Okay, I still like. <clears throat> So there you go, uh, for for folks that wanted to see <clears throat> the the Cinebench performance, it's at a six. Okay, so here's some extra details there, um, and what I'm gonna do is run it one more time because that's what uh, they had requested. So here we go, and I will continue talking about the um, the keyboard design and the tactile feedback. So. Um, by tactile, what I mean was the 90, 9560 was almost like a chiclet style keyboard where, you know, um, the, the, when, I, I, when I press the uh, button, it actually, my, my fingers registered it much easier than this, than this one. However, having said that, as the, as the other test is happening, let me show you something really quickly uh, up close. So, so... Look at the spacing and how and, and see if you you find this laptop keyboard is actually larger than the 9560. So it's somehow wider. I don't know by how much, but it's certainly wider. And right now, I haven't made any setting changes, but the backlight on this is not on. So that's that's something I I can you know I can maybe look at why the back backlight is not showing. I know somebody had asked that question. Um, maybe right after the Cinebench test, I can I can try to figure this out. Um, let me see if I can straighten my it's always always messy to move the um, Always messy, tricky to do this. All 
All right, so I ran that twice and it's at an eight now. So the ranking in the ranking has gone down a little bit. Let me run this one more time. It doesn't take that long and I'll, I'll, I'll make this video quicker, go by quicker. Um, yeah, this is kind of interesting um, how it's gotten slower. And actually, the um, run here looks to be faster to my eyes, at least. Maybe I'm getting used to it, or if it's, I don't know, if the image gets cached somehow. Um, it's all interesting stuff. And somebody else pointed out that the Intel Core i7 is a 10H75H version, which I uh, messed up and I said something else. That's how unprepared I was doing the other video. I do feel a little bit more prepared doing this versus the other one because that was completely impromptu. Um, so, you know, hopefully this will be a little bit more um, to your liking in terms of the specifics of what I'm going to talk about. The other one was more of the look and the feel kind of review, so um, we'll see. All right, so this is coming towards an end right now. Look at that. Look at the first one, the Xeon Platinum 8168 CPU, and the second one's a Xeon CPU, and then the AMD Threadripper. Those guys are crazy fast. Now, 48 cores. That's massive. I wonder what laptop that is. I wonder what laptop uses 48 cores, or um, not, not necessarily even laptop, right? Like, a, like what machine is using that? Wow. All right, so we are almost done here. And I will be running the DPC test after this. So just stay tuned. I wonder what mechanics is happening in the back end. Um, let's see. So, all right, so it's done and it's again at, at eight. So, um, all right, I'm gonna close out. Save, quit. Sure, save the benchmark. So, okay, so now the DPC latency checker. So I'm going to let it run for I don't know how long, um, maybe for 30 seconds, um, and I, I won't you know skip the video so that the person that requested DPC latency checker specifically can see this. Um, I want you guys to have fun and learn. Um, you know, so speaking of my personal development videos, guys, I, I've been doing, um, you know, I started as a life coach. I've written a few books on Amazon. Um, you know, definitely do support me and watch those videos because that's my real, that's my real gig. Um, you know, I love helping people out however I can. I, I've started self-acceptance coaching um, and I really love teaching people how to be the best version of themselves and start out by loving themselves, okay? So, um, you know, my, one of my last books was, um, is actually starting to sell really well on Amazon. So if you if you wanna check it out, you know, go to, um, go to my other videos, go to amazon.com, look for K-S-H-I-T-I-J, that's my first name, Chitij Prasai, P-R-A-S-A-I, Coach KP, or just Coach KP personal development, and you'll see my um, you'll see my um, name pop up there, and you can buy the book and support me. Okay, so um, also learn basics of personal development, like one on one stuff on that book, Personal Development Simplified, my first book, basic stuff. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna stop this test here. Everything looks good. 
All right, so this machine should be able to handle real-time streaming of audio or video data without drop-offs. All right, um, repeat the user benchmark, benchmark test. Okay, so user benchmark, benchmark, repeat that test, re-download. Again, you're not seeing the lower one portion out of the 10 portions of this um, laptop because of the resolution issues, as I said. So I'm going to run this. And you know, honestly, I haven't 100% figured out if I'm going to keep this laptop I'm doing a test with Adobe um, because I generally use Camtasia as my software, but they shipped out three months or actually they sh sent a code for three months of free Adobe Creative Cloud with this laptop because it's, it's the creator's edition. They call this laptop the um, XPS 179700 Creator Edition and they included that option uh, for me to redeem the free code. You know, I say why not? Um, Adobe does have good software. I know that from other people that I know uh, in the content creation industry uh, raving about, you know, um, Premiere Pro and things of that nature. So uh, I'm going to test it out. I may actually make uh, my next video may actually be me testing out um, just that. I may actually do that just so people can benefit from seeing how things how things are with um, running Adobe Premiere Pro, Pro or Adobe Premiere Rush even, okay? So this benchmark still running. Um, should be done here very soon. The first time I did it without the graphics driver, I was honestly a little bit disappointed. So I'm so glad um, the person that pointed out that I made a mistake, I'm so grateful for that. Because um, that made me go back there and... Um, run Dell software to check all the drivers and it updated the NVIDIA, NVIDIA driver and you know all was good since so um yeah I don't know what's going on why it's because earlier in, in an earlier test it was about 50 something percent so huh makes me want to run this one more time okay so I'm gonna close out a few things here I'm going to close out a few of these things here. I wonder if there's any kind of distraction going on. Because I, you know, I feel like I'm not doing you guys a justice by showing this. Um, background CPU usage 22% on this. Let me run this one more time. Under downloads here. Use a benchmark. Wasn't intending on running it twice, but for whatever reason, it's like it was at like it's close to 60%, 62% earlier. But you know, uh, I can't prove it if it's not if it's not showing up here. So uh, bear with me, guys. Yeah, the and the other thing. I was saying, um, and I'll do the speaker test here um, to let you listen to the speakers. The speakers are quite phenomenal. Uh, I'm not going to lie. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play the video of one of my own YouTube videos because I don't want to get dinged again um, do, doing this and that, um, you know, um, so that way I'm safe. Um, and, you know, you guys can be, be the judge of the sound quality, but having the speakers facing up it really helps, really helps this laptop. And I think the uh, tweeters are a little bit bigger as well. And again, you know, benchmarks are just that. Like, I don't get wicked hung up on that. That's the reason I don't like talking about benchmark when I'm recommending a laptop to someone because, hey, so many things factor into a benchmark. Like, if I move the cursor or if I start another program, the benchmark's going to gonna be lower. And, you know, we all, we, all of us multitask. 
So what difference does it really make? As long as you know the ballpark, right? I mean, it's, it's good to know how fast something is or, you know, whatever you paid for, is it even worth it? Like, it's good to have that. But I don't like to get hung up on benchmark. It's like the pixel peepers, you know, um, people that talk about in the camera world, everybody, you know, that pixel peeps is talking about, oh, you know, the 40 megapixel one is, is a lot better than the 24 megapixel one. But my eyes, I have never been really able to tell uh, because I don't zoom at that scale. Okay. Um, maybe it's a use for someone. So, okay. All right. So it thinks the gra graphics um, is, is a is a gaming 35%, whatever that means. Desktop 80%, workstation 71%. I, you know, maybe... I should run another test at another time. Who knows? So I'm not going to go there again, but let me go to the Dell Power Manager. I've actually been impressed by this Dell Power Manager. Um, so battery information. The battery life on this thing is supposed to be 300 full charge and discharge cycle. Okay, I read it in a manual. Um, it's that's not a whole heck of a lot, so I'm I'm thinking maybe it needs a battery replacement in in two years, in two years time, um, by my calculation. Um, yours could could vary depending on you know how much are you running the, these machines. You know if you're if that's this is your work machine, it will probably run out quicker, um, maybe a year and a half. I don't know, you know. Um, so it depends on your usage, but by my usage, I, I you know so. Um, maybe two years. All right, so thermal management. So right now it's in ultra performance mode. The fan is constantly running like it's kind of hot right now. Um, and one thing I've realized is, you know, you, you have to prop this laptop up at an angle to get the best use of the vapor cooling. Because soon as I do this, it becomes the, the fans almost work so much more efficiently. And you may look at, uh, you know, those website to understand how they, the vapor cooling works. But essentially, it's one fan pulls up air and the other, other fan um, lets out air in kind of a tandem. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I'm not going to go into detail because I don't know, honestly, more than what I just said. So look it up. It's good, good stuff. So thermal management, if I, go, if I go on cool, it actually uh, adjusts the processor speed. I don't want to do that. I'm making a benchmark video. So, you know, I put it on ultra performance. I'm probably going to leave it at that for the most part, unless I'm at a cafe somewhere, then I would probably want it um, optimized or cool if I'm putting on my lap, like depending on what I'm doing. Um, but it seems to be adequate. The laptop does get hot, like wicked hot um, north of the keyboard. So, so this, this piece that's, this piece that's, um, you know, um, that's out here. It gets very hot. If I had to guess, this was like a 90 degrees right now. And right now, the keyboard is probably around 85 degrees. I, I would guess, um, again, you know, as a guesstimate, um, let's not get hung up on that if it's not. But that's what I feel it is doing. Um, so, um, you know, all right. So, I talked about talked about that now let's talk about the sound test okay so my battery on the camera is dying um guys i'm gonna i'm gonna now put this on on the camera uh, on the near the laptop speaker so you can hear what it sounds like and i'm gonna go to my youtube channel so you guys can see what my youtube channel is if you haven't already do coach kp all right uh and one of the things that i would like to Yeah, let's do that. That one's pretty good. Hello, I am Chitish Prasai, also known as Coach KP. I am the founder of A Life Well Created, an initiative whose mission is to bring personal development to people from all walks of life. All right, so that was about 28 seconds of that. That was about 28 seconds of that. Uh, now I'm gonna go to my older laptop, the Dell XPS 9560, and I'll pull up Chrome. It looks, 
you know, honestly, like after using this one, it does look like, a, I mean, I never thought, never looked at my older laptop as an old laptop until now. I mean, you know, it's probably because I have the night, the night light turn on. Let me actually just see turning off the night light. I actually don't even have that turn on. So maybe the brightness. All right, here. also known as Coach KP. I am the founder of A Life Well Created, an initiative whose mission is to bring personal development to people from all walks of life. As a life coach, I believe that... All right, so that was that. Let me just fix this, clip this mic here. So that was that. Um, uh, hopefully you guys can tell the difference between... and the. Uh, and on that older laptop, the XPS 15, I still like the sound quality until I heard it on this laptop. So definitely a good improvement, um, I would say. And I think it would blow any other laptop. I'm not sure, again, about, um, you know, Macs. I haven't used them. But any other Windows laptop speakers um, by a mile, I, I can say that for sure. All right, so let's see. The next thing on my list is... I've spoken about the keyboard, um, the trackpad backlight. All right, let's see, keyboard, keyboard, let's see, oh, I don't know what that's about, keyboard. Hmm, so for some reason, um, backlight, I'm not sure about the setting to check the backlight, maybe it's in the BIOS. It's, it looks a little bit muted compared to my, I'll actually show you. It looks, um, the, and the backlight seems a little bit muted compared to my, so as you can even see here, that one's so much brighter than this one. You can still see, um, the keys, but that one, the older laptop definitely has a brighter touch, touchpad. I'm, I mean, key, keyboard. So I'm not a hundred percent, I'm not a hundred percent on whether I like which one do I like? I mean, I don't dislike the the um, the the keyboard on this one because of the backlight necessarily. Um, yeah, and the and the power button is actually the fingerprint sensor, so that could be kind of a pain in the neck because uh, on older on other laptops the de that's the delete key, but the power button is where the delete key is, and delete key is one shifted. So let me show you um, what I'm talking about here so you see see that that's the power and this is the delete so um that's kind of a quirky situation um going on there uh, not a huge fan it, it takes a little bit of adjustment but you know it's not a deal breaker either for me by any means so i did what i was asked for um i am honestly not sure if i'm going to do any more of these videos um we'll see uh, if you guys really want me to do something let me know i'll try to accommodate you but like i said you know i'm more of a personal development guy i'm not a uh, not a guy that does these kinds of videos so uh, hey we'll see okay all right peace coach kp have a fun life see you later